Hey there, data enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the intriguing world of z-values and how they make sense of complex data. Get ready for a statistical deep dive. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is a z-value? Well, think of it as our data detective. It helps us understand how far and in what direction a data point deviates from the mean. To illustrate, let's consider a group of basketball players. We're measuring their heights and we want to know how tall or short a particular player is compared to the average. That's where our z-value steps in. It gives us an easy to understand number that reveals just how much a player's height deviates from the mean if a player is two standard deviations taller than the average their z-value would be plus two this simple number gives us a clear picture of how unusual or typical their height is compared to the group unlike the p-value which gives the probability of observing your results under the null hypothesis the z-value measures the number of standard deviations from the mean this is a crucial distinction as it separates mere chance from actual significance. Now let's delve into the p-value. It's a probability score that tells us the likelihood of obtaining the observed results assuming the null hypothesis is true. Lower p-values suggest that the observed data is less likely under the null hypothesis leading us to reject it. On the flip side, the z-value doesn't deal with probabilities. It's more of a measure of how unusual our data is. A higher z-value corresponds to data points further away from the mean, marking them as more extraordinary. Lastly, let's touch on the t-value. It's used when the population variance is unknown, common in smaller sample sizes. It's similar to the z-value but adapted for these less certain situations. The t-value, on the other hand, is used when the population variance is unknown, common in smaller sample sizes. Z-values are crucial in fields like finance, quality control and psychology, where understanding deviations from the norm is key. Now, let's delve into some practical applications. In finance, for instance, Z-values can help identify outliers in datasets like unusual spikes in stock prices, allowing analysts to make informed decisions. In the realm of quality control, z-values are used to measure how well a product or process meets the set standards. If a z-value strays too far from the norm, it's a clear signal that something needs to be adjusted. Meanwhile, in psychology, z-values are often used in psychological testing to understand how far an individual's score deviates from the average score. This can help identify whether an individual's behavior or abilities are typical or atypical for their age group or population. In essence, z-values are statistical superheroes. Transforming complex data into a language we can all understand, they help turn abstract numbers into meaningful insights. In the universe of data, the z-value is a shining star, guiding us through seas of numbers. It's a compass in the vast ocean of data, helping us understand how far and in what direction a data point deviates from the mean. Through our exploration, we've seen the z-value in action, revealing the height of a basketball player in relation to the group's average. We've also spotlighted the differences between the z-value, p-value and t-value. Each of these statistical measures has its own terrain to navigate, offering unique insights into the data at hand. Z-values in particular play a pivotal role in various fields, from finance to psychology, transforming abstract numbers into meaningful, actionable insights. They truly unlock the depth within data, proving that there's always more than meets the eye. What's your take on the importance of Z-values? Share in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more data-driven explorations.